think you're just the average Joe investor, right? Well, believe it or not, you probably have something in common with Mitt Romney. You got an offshore account, or at least a piece of one. That's because most pension funds, one way or another, are generating returns offshore. Ed Butowski is managing partner with Chapwood Investments, and Mickey Mincy's is a founding partner with Blue River Partners. Ed, let me start with you. What is the lowdown on this one? Give me the basics. Sure. I mean, uh, uh, Melissa, this is an important discussion because most people don't realize that their pension plan has benefited quite handsomely from investing in private equity in some cases, hedge funds or real estate. Well, they also have in a pension plan tax deferred status, meaning that when they make money in those pension plans, they're not being taxed. So when they want to invest in a private equity, real estate or hedge fund, they actually invest in what is an offshore fund set up by the private equity or hedge fund. Right. So most of these pension plans, and if anyone looks at their pension plan, they have benefited handsomely by the likes of Mitt Romney and Bain Capital and other private equity funds and hedge funds because they wanted to retain that tax deferred right. status. In order to do that, they, they have to invest from in it without question into that investment. Yeah, and Mickey, I think a lot of people don't realize, I mean, the, your average school teacher, firefighter, policeman doesn't realize that his pension fund, he's a private equity investor, basically. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, you know, it's industry standard practice for any hedge fund or any private equity fund that's seeking investment from tax exempt money or foreign money to set up an offshore component to their fund. Um, it's just the way these, these funds are structured. Um, they're not taking the money offshore. The money's coming in through the offshore vehicle and being invested in the strategies here in the United States and other places. Yeah, so Ed, I mean, basically everyone's doing it, is what we're saying, which is absolutely true because all these pension funds go out and this is how they generate their higher yield returns. So why are we vilifying right. it? Because because they're not familiar with it. When you hear something you're not familiar with, and that's what you know, literally, that's what you know, Obama and his team are doing. They're taking concepts that people aren't familiar with, painting a picture of questioning why is this the case, and what this is really doing is it's raising the level of knowledge for all people in this country. Is um, it you though? Know, why I is mean, it being vilified? It? it shouldn't be. Matter of fact, I got to tell you, Melissa, there's a lot of positive things that have come as a result of private equity investments in endowments and pensions. I mean, you have buildings at universities that have been built because of private private equity investing. You have research that's been done in medicine because of private equity investing. There's a lot of positive things that I people know, but should I'm really not sure. be I, you know, I, applauding. All of that is this. true, but Mickey, let me ask you. I, I mean, you know, Ed is saying that people are being educated as a result of this. I don't think so. I think they're being miseducated. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure unless you're watching our program tonight and then you're clever and smart. That's but right. if you're not watching, I think a, a lot of people aren't getting educated about this, that they're, they're seeing, you know, they just believe that private equity hedge fund and earning money offshore is, is, is you know, immoral, and they don't realize that it's legal and they're probably doing it. Well, that's exactly right. So what these criticisms are doing is simply um, using the public's lack of knowledge about the private equity and hedge fund industry and these businesses to create an issue that doesn't exist. What should be focused on, to Ed's point, is what private equity does for the U.S. economy. You know, these firms uh, aggregate billions of dollars in capital and invest in emerging private companies in the United States, investing in healthcare, mm -hmm. manufacturing, dis distribution, commercial products. Um, these firms are building the U.S. economy, and um, they're set up the way they are for tax purposes and nothing more. That's right. And, Ed, this is a phenomenon that's only going to get bigger. Case in point is CalPERS, who reported that paltry 1% gain for the last fiscal year. If you look inside those numbers, they lost 7.5% on stocks. The only way these funds can make up money and reach for yield is to put more money in high return, high risk, like private equity, hedge funds, other vehicles, right? Yeah. There's absolutely no question about it. Most pension funds are underfunded and they're knocking themselves out of the way to get money into private equity investments and into hedge funds. You want your pension plan, if it's underfunded, to find a way to make sure that they become you know, funded properly so you continue to get that pension check every single month. You want this to happen. It's, it's legal and you want it happening for your money and uh, it's going to be there for a long time. And you're right, Melissa, it's going to be a subject that's going to be on the, you know, the front burner for quite some time. Gentlemen, Thank you for debunking some myths for us tonight. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, thank Thanks you. for having us.